everybody, we're going to do a video tour of our chicken coop. We finally have it in the um, final stages. There will probably be more touch-ups along the way, but for now, this is where it's where it's at. So, um, it's completely enclosed. We have a hard wire, um, galvanized steel wire here. Um, keeps them in and everybody else out. Um, we have a corrugated roof on the top that adds extra shade and rain protection and hopefully some snow if we get any snow snow protection for them. Um, we have a hard wire mesh down here. It's a 16 gauge hard wire mesh which basically keeps everything out. Um, rodents, uh, possums, raccoons. It's pretty much very safe right here. Um, we added some lighting at the top. So we have a solar panel here uh, which is a motion sensor inside of the coop. So if I need to come out here at night, which I do often to lock, up the, lock them up, um, that light will come on automatically for me, which makes it really nice to come out and do what I need to do in at night or check on the chickens or whatever I need to do. Um, we've got the door is on an automatic closed hinge. So it automatically closes and latches. So when I go in and I got my hands full, it closes behind me. We have an additional latch here because my, my husband is um, loves to do things in redundancy. Um, we have our chairs that we take in with us and we go in and, and sit inside and the chickens are super friendly so they'll come sit on our laps and roost on our legs and hang out with us for a bit. Nice place to have a glass of wine in the evening. Um, this is our poop drawer. So inside the coop, which we'll show you in a minute, um, above this chicken wire here is their roost where they sleep at night. So we put the chicken wire in um, because it keeps their feet clean because they poop a lot at night. So all the poop falls through to the drawer underneath, keeps their feet very clean. Also, um, if I'm out here working during the day, I can be out here working and they have no access to the outside. So um, the poop drawer slides out. I can bring my wheelbarrow right underneath here. This latch opens up. This one opens and this one opens. And this slides down and then my rake, my shovel, just right into my wheelbarrow and the poop goes off to the compost pile. So that makes it really nice. Um, and then this just slides back in and the drawer slides in. We've got these ropes on there so I can't pull it out too far. Um, and then this just latches down again, swings down, and then we've got a double lock system on here. On the outside, over here, we've got a window that pulls up and latches here so if they need extra ventilation it's also completely covered by the roof so no weather can get in there and there's a hard wire mesh here which again keeps rodents out um, but lets airflow go through so um, the top we have um, shingled roof we have a sunlight and a vent for extra ventilation as well the sunlight's really nice because it does add in some light in the morning they've decided they don't like to be in there at night um, we added another solar panel um, above the coop, which wires into a light that's inside of the coop, and that one's on a 10-hour uh, light. So it powers the light for 10 hours, so when it gets dark enough, the light in the coop automatically comes on. So now we go inside the coop, and the coop run again, that door closes automatically. Uh, we put in some um, chicken swings for them. So far they've jumped on them, but they haven't really roosted on them yet. They're not really too crazy about it. They love their bicycle. We'll get four or five, six chickens on that bicycle at a time. And they all just kind of hang out there. And then there's a, a roosting pole back here, which they love. Uh, they get on that and get their stand as tall as they can to peek over the, the fence there to see what we're doing on the outside if I'm not working in the yard or pulling the car into the, in the RV pad. Their plate here um, is kind of a dual purpose. This is usually their feeding plate. Um, I'll bring out uh, treats in the morning, salad of sorts, leftover vegetables from the night before. Right now it's a cooling plate, so I just put some water in there and a brick, because it's hot out, they walk over the brick and it cools their body temperature down. Um, this is something we just finished today. This is their new feeding system. So it's um, a three inch pipe. Um, we've attached it with um, plumber's tape here just with a screw so it's it's really secure it's not going to go anywhere but um, all we have to do is just take this off and then we got a um, four inch to three inch connector which actually works fabulously as my funnel so I can just take this in and scoop it right in like that 
take this off. Oops, this one. And then that closes that at the top. So it's again, rodent protectant. Um, at nighttime, all I have to do is come in and take out one of these little caps, put that in, seals it off. No rodents can get in there. The food is safe, keeps everything dry. And then during the day, I just pull them off. Chickens love it because they have access to their food throughout the day. Hang these little things on here so they never get lost. Um, inside the coop, well, they have their hay bale, which they love. They have the hay bale. At first, I was rather, um, I protested it a little bit because I thought it made a mess in my chicken coop, which I try and keep nice and clean for them. But um, they seem to love it. They climb on it and nap on it during the day. They got a log in here, which is another favorite spot. They love to climb on that as well. Um, my husband named the coop as we were working on it. He named it Chateau de Peep. So I had a sign made, made that um, we put up at the top. The barn door swings open and we've got a latch at the back. So if I'm out here cleaning and whatnot, um, it's really easy because it just stays open. And then inside the coop, um, they have a window, which they closed. <laughs> they must have jumped on it this morning when I let them out. So it's got a screen, so again, more ventilation. They love to sit up here on the roost at night and the lights on inside. So you just see a row of chickens and they're all staring out the window like what's going on. Um, inside the coop, um, we laid linoleum flooring down. So it's really easy to clean, although there's some poop smudges on it. But each day I just come out, I scrape out all the poop. It takes me five minutes to clean up. That way when they go in and roost at night, um, at least it's as clean as possible. So they've got their little welcome home sign back there. Again, you can see that the skylight lets in some nice lighting. And then the vent just creates some extra ventilation in here so it's not too stuffy. Um, here's the light, the solar panel light that I showed you before. Um, at night when it gets dark, that automatically will come on. So the chickens have light throughout the night. Um, and then here on this side over here in the corner, um, they're not old enough to lay eggs yet. So we still have, they're not old enough to lay eggs yet. We still have a couple of months before they start laying. But here in the corner, they'll have two nesting boxes that are gonna go in there, but I don't wanna put them in yet because I don't wanna teach them that they're supposed to sleep in there. And then this is the ramp that goes on um, their access to their coop. And at nighttime, this would be closed, obviously. So at nighttime, their ramp, another latch. Um, again, it keeps them in, keeps rodents out. It locks securely, nothing's getting in there. And then back behind their little ramp, they have a dust bath, which is um, a mixture of sand, dirt, and wood ash. And the wood ash is really good for their skin. It helps to keep the mites away. So um, that pretty much wraps it up. That's our coop. We didn't have a plan. Uh, we're not carpenters, but we kind of knew what we wanted. So we just, um, kind of a chess game. We just kind of figured out what we wanted to do and figured it out from there. So it was a piece by piece thing but I love how it's coming out. The chickens are obviously super happy, very healthy. So we love it. So thanks for, for touring our Chateau de Peep.